family, it's the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, we are going to be touring the Isla. It has a garage over here. This is the Isla, okay? Let me see if I can step back and So this is going to be the Isla. I'm super excited to get in and show you what it looks like, so let's go ahead and see. Beautiful, 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 beautiful door. Look at the door. Love it. I'm so impressed with Palm Harbor Homes, you guys. We've had a wonderful time touring. What really impressed me about Palm Harbor Homes is the attention to detail in every single one of their homes. Absolutely love these tours. I can't wait to go back and finish. I didn't even get to record all of the houses. So with the Isla 2, we start off in the dining room. Cute little area, you guys. Like it's really open. You got three big windows here, bringing in lots of natural light. I love all the shelving in this area. I love how they use the backsplash in different areas of the home. And yes, the dining room area does have backsplash over here because it has a little sink. So think about when you're entertaining, you don't have to run to the kitchen. If you drop a fork, you need to rinse it off. If you need to wash your hands, whatever you need to do in the sink area, you can have food over here ready for your guests, whatever you choose, but super, super cute. And I love the fact that they had the two cute little chandeliers, kind of a rustic feel. You guys know I love rustic. If you don't love rustic, it's okay. You don't have to get rustic. You know what I'm saying? You can get a different type of chandelier, but this is overall just the cutest little space. Love the fact that they have those can lights over there. Absolutely perfect. Now next to the dining room, you have your kitchen. And forgive me if I take a little time in here, but this kitchen was awesome. Like I know you guys see this island that seats a million people. And before the people that don't like a sink in the island say something. Let's just take a minute to really think about the island, okay? We're gonna come back to it in a second. Look at the shelving. The color of the cabinets was this kind of silvery gray with a hint of green. They threw in the clear green backsplash. They had stainless steel appliances like the perfect color in here. You got a granite countertop. You got granite countertops. That's the first thing. You got a waterfall island in the kitchen. The island seats a million people. You have this huge sink and you still have space for people to stretch out on the island, whether they're eating, doing homework, playing games, just sitting there. And that sink just does not affect them. So very well done. It's Latou, absolutely perfect island for a sink. Love, love, love it. I love all of the shelving. I could really see frosted glass in that, instead of that just being open shelving. I could really see frosted glass over there, but I also think it's cute the way it is. You just got so much space for storage. And then they even had the nerve to put a pantry in this kitchen on top of all that storage. So you really just can't beat it. They didn't skimp on the shelving. You've got not the wire shelving, but you've got actual wood shelving in here. Just did a remarkable job on this kitchen and that green backsplash. Oh my goodness, it is so perfect. Now, you're gonna notice in different parts of the house that the backsplash is a little different, but I think it all goes together nicely. I probably would have done a bigger pendant lighting or a different shape, like a round pendant lighting, but overall I think that this house is really, really cute. Now, this is your living room area. You've got six big windows in here, three large windows, and then those, uh, the extra window space, I don't know what you call it. You've got tray ceilings in here, ceiling fan, just a tall ceiling, and just some of the extras in the Isla too, you guys. Of course, you saw it was uh, 1,991 uh, square feet. This is a triple wide, okay? Not a single wide, a double wide, a triple wide. It's four bedroom, three bath. It has a large master suite with dual walk-in closets. You have a recessed entry, huge island in the kitchen. There's an optional home office, optional sunroom, an optional shell wall, 
shelf wall with electric fireplace. So they did a really, really good job. This living room is absolutely the perfect size for this house. Absolutely love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. I even love the beams in the ceiling. That wood, you don't see it anywhere else, that color. So it absolutely pops. Love it. They did a remarkable job. Now, we're going to go over here by the fireplace. Of course, I want you to check it out. But listen, back to the ceiling. Like, it's perfect. The house is... I love this house, y'all. This is it. This is the one that I would leave my house for. Now, your back door is around this corner. You've got storage shelving right here in the hallway. Um, and then you've got... Uh, a bathroom here okay now this bathroom has like a, a sort of beige color backsplash in it but it has the trim and at, other bathrooms have different colors so I don't know if that's typically the way the house is or if they're showing you different color options for your home but I think I would get the home just the way it is I think it works perfectly every bathroom doesn't have to match the rest of them love that they have a ceiling fan in this bedroom this isn't the master but it's all by itself so this could be the oldest kids room this could be the sibling that lives with me and my family my mother-in-law suite um this could be like whatever I need it to be right so it so just think about how you could use that separate bedroom in your home so really wonderful we're gonna walk through the house taking our time because we really just want to look around again and kind of check out things see if there's anything we missed and um just take in just how big this space is how open and bright and light and airy it's well designed the layout is perfect absolutely wonderful i love it absolutely love it absolutely love it oh and i lied the shelving in the kitchen actually does go with the beams in the ceiling but it's the perfect pop perfect pop now this is one of the additional bedrooms this is additional bedroom number two both all of their additional bedrooms are a nice size um this one i think was a full or a queen bed but if you wanted a king in here, you absolutely could do it. I don't see why you couldn't put a, a king in this room and still have lots of space. This uh, additional room also has a ceiling fan in it. Really nice. A lot of times when you go into these, uh, these uh, display homes, they'll have a ceiling fan in the living room and one in the master but this one actually has one in every room, which is typically how we would do it if we were purchasing this home for ourselves. Here's the closet for this room, another standard closet, but a nice size closet. Again, they did not skimp on shelving, right? So no wire racks in this home whatsoever. No wire racks. Now we're gonna take a look at the second uh, well, first of all, they had open shelving here and, um, excuse me, additional shelving here in the hallway as well. And you got your coat closet here, okay, in this hallway. So for your guests, you can put coat closet, uh, use this as a coat closet or put storage. Now here's the second additional uh, bathroom and it actually has a dark green backsplash and also that trim is in the shower. And I thought that was really pretty as well. Again, every bathroom doesn't have to match the other. So I don't know whether the house is intended to have those different colors in different bathrooms or if they're just showing you the options. But I believe that if I was purchasing this home, I would go with I could go with the display home because I could live with it like that. Really pretty. So you have this big mirror over your sink but you also that smaller mirror is a medicine cabinet so you also in addition to the storage that's in this in this room with the shelving in the cabinets you also have a medicine cabinet which is really nice so just wanted to make sure that I showed you that and then this next room could be one of two things it could be bedroom number uh, four 
or it could be an office okay so you have an, the option for an office if all you needed was a three bedroom you would have three bedroom three baths and an office so really nice space i could see this room working for a bedroom as well as working for the office this would be perfect as an office because it's right on the front wonderful but as you can see if you use it for a bedroom and you put a door there then you also have a ceiling fan in this room as well so really lovely and i love the fact that this has like a darker um wallpaper more of a green the rest of the rooms have that silvery gray but this has a greenish tone it's still new but it has a greenish tone which would pop as an office absolutely love it really love it very nice i do want to point out again if this is the front of the house so it's across from the dining room we didn't go to it first because i wanted to show you that it could be the optional fourth bedroom but it is at the front across from the dining room and now down this hall you have the utility room on the left and the master on the right we're going to check out the master first really nice space this has that new green in it as well really lovely huge huge master i don't know if the camera is even doing this room any justice you guys love it i love the windows i love how bright it is in here um i love uh how much space you have even with this king in between the windows you still have a lot of space to move around and again there there is an optional shelf and fireplace in here as well so if you decide you don't want a fireplace in here it doesn't come with it it is optional of course anytime you get any of the optional items uh that there is an upgrade but this house shows you what the look and feel would be like if you opted for the fireplace with the shelving above so really nice absolutely love it plant city also does a wonderful job with decor uh, they really made the uh these homes look nice i hope you've enjoyed the plant city tours you guys because i've really enjoyed touring these houses my only regret i had to go to a funeral so i, I couldn't stay and get all the houses but this was really nice now the master has two closets this is closet number one it's long and deep and i love that I love that they were thoughtful enough to put the additional shelving so you could hang maybe your uh, uh, bottoms on the bottom and your tops on the top and then you have space for the longer items. I love that they were thoughtful enough to put the shelving above and then you also had that other section for shelving. And then in the second closet, they also put that additional shelving where you could have shorter things uh, on one side along with things on the other and you could separate your bottoms and your tops and again thoughtful enough to put shelving there as well so you can have room for even more stuff really nice so this will be his and the first closet i'm sure would be hers okay because it's the bigger closet but very well done very nice so now we're going to go over to the master bath now here is a different uh, well, this is the same darker green, but here's a different um, look because this bathroom has that darker teal and it has the LED lighting and it also has open shelving between the two mirrors. So very well done. It's not very often that you see this look in the modular manufactured homes, but they did a wonderful job. Really large uh, sink here, lots of space for your things. You have additional storage. You have a water closet. You have that beautiful soaker tub. Just a really, really lovely, lovely bathroom. So again, they did an awesome, awesome job on this home. My only critique would be the fact that this bathroom, this water closet, closet doesn't have a window. If I had it all over to do, you guys, my master bath would have to have a window. And if it had a separate water closet, which is not necessary, but if it did, it would have to have a window in that room. Beautiful tub. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Love all the can lighting throughout this home. 
they just did an absolutely wonderful job on this home and i'm really glad that i took the time to tour this last home love the shelving in the shower love the tile in here absolutely beautiful i love hamilton hampton or hamilton home always has the the cutest shower heads and this home has the one that i love with all the sprays that come out at you they just did a really great job with this you guys really great you got the overhead uh shower you've got the handheld shower and then you have all of those jets those silver things are jets and so water comes out and it even has a soap dish built in how wonderful is that so absolutely love it i've showed you these before not quite made like this in the hamilton homes uh, reviews but really lovely they did a fantastic job now let's go get the price All right, you guys, again, this is the Isla 2. It's a, the series is Timberland. It's 1,920 square feet, all in. Delivery set up, heat and air is 355, 380. That's 355, 380. Any questions about this home, check the description box below. See you in the next video.